Now, there are some men who say that women will fuck anyone that has money, status, and good looks. And I disagree with that because there are a lot of men with money, status, and good looks that I find utterly repulsive. Um, Russell Brand is a prime example. I find him absolutely repulsive. Andrew Tate. Money, status, good looks, but utterly repulsive. I would not want that man anywhere near me. I think that, you know, the the types of men that we go for, we, we as women look for personality, how we feel about you. That's the emotional part. How do I feel about you? And these kind of predators go after women who are very vulnerable, meaning women who are very young, so when you see men that want women under 20, they, they, want, they, want, they need the power. And these women uh, don't know themselves yet. They are impressed with the power. And they're very vulnerable. Harvey Weinstein, you know, he, the women were also older, but they needed him for their careers. They, they were in a vulnerable, powerless position. So when I talk about consent and desire, I'm speaking of people in equal power positions. That's where only, only then can you give consent. If you're in an equal power position, okay? So uh, an 18-year-old might say yes to a 40-year-old guy, but that's not really consent. If she has been grown up, abused, or needs him to further her career, and that's why she's having sex with him. So um, there, are, there is a lot coming out about these Me Too guys, um, you know, the Me Too movement about men using their position of power to coerce women into sex. And the women had sex with them, but that wasn't desire. True desire really starts in the body. It's a physical thing. It starts from, do I like this guy? And there it goes to how we feel about the person. It has to do with attachment style because there are certain women who will go for these narcissists or abusive men because that's familiar to them. That's what they like. They are attaching to the kind of people that they grew up with. But they still have to like the guy. And you'll be surprised, a lot of these con artists and prisoners, they're able to get women because they like women. So some women uh, pick up on the charm. They're learning by the charm. And it doesn't mean that the guy is a good guy, but he doesn't even have to have money. This is for you MGTOW guys watching my videos. The guy can be a total loser have no money at all. There's so many women that are with men that have no money. The woman is the main breadwinner or the only breadwinner. The guy is just laying around on the couch or he's got a big belly. And these women, or he's an alcoholic, these women want to be with these men. They want to be in relationship with these men because they're caretakers, they're people pleasers, they're codependents. It's very complicated, but on some level, the woman has to like the man. I think if you really want to know what attracts women, I think the best thing that has been really helpful for me for understanding what, how I'm attracted is reading evolutionary psychology. And there are so many books written by men on this topic. Mate by Tucker Max or Dr. Jeffrey Miller. Uh, that's a really good one that I would start with. It has a lot to do with, it's not just your, your money and your, your height. It's, uh, that's just manosphere bullshit talk. Okay, we want to feel safe, we want to feel trusting, that's how we feel about you. And I would also add attachment styles to that as to the type of man that we're attracted to. Um, so, yeah. There's uh, another thing I want to point out if you think that women don't need an emotional connection. Um, there, there are some videos that were going around on, that were made on college campuses where, you know, a bunch of women go up to a bunch of different guys or a woman goes up to a bunch of different guys or a bunch of women. So you have a bunch of women go up to a bunch of guys and say, would you come home with me and have sex with me? And I think like, 70 or 80% of the men said yes. 
And then you have a bunch of really good looking guys go up to a bunch of women and say, will you come home and have sex with me? And all the women said no. Now, did they say no because they didn't want to be slut shamed? I think they just were like, not as down to fuck. The same as the man, the husband getting out of the shower. He gets out of the shower. He sees his wife. She's naked. He wants to have sex with her. But she doesn't want to because he hasn't taken her out on a date in weeks or months. When she wants to talk to him, he hasn't listened. He's on his phone. Maybe she's mad at him because he promised to put up that shelving for her and he still hasn't done it. Or, you know, he, she's annoyed with his snoring or whatever. She doesn't feel connected to him. There's no way she wants to have sex and open her body if she doesn't like him or feel connected in some level. Or want to nurture the relationship. You know, when I was married, I would often, I would have sex with my husband even when I wasn't turned on because I wanted to nurture the relationship. That's a connection. So, you know, anyone who says a woman does need a connection, uh, I, I have to disagree. I don't, I have to strongly disagree. Um, that's, that's all I got.